OK, now we are ready to create a customer. Go to the Customers page, click Add Customer. Here are two options. Natural means an individual person and legal means an organization. Let's create an individual customer. First, enter the customer's login name. Then, enter the customer's name. You can generate a new password or enter the password manually. Click Create to create a customer. Now you can see the customer's page and some basic customer's details. To add more information or to edit existing information, click this Edit icon. As an example, let's add customer's contacts. Let's add a phone number and the customer's email address. Click Save to save changes. We could also add the customer's ID and the customer's address if we like, but we'll skip that. Now let's create the customer's personal account. Click this plus icon, check number if you want to set the personal account number manually, or don't check this, and the system will set the number automatically. Click Create to create the personal account. On the personal account page, you can see the overview panel, which shows the account state and the access card number. To get more information about the access card, click Options icon, select Access Card, and here you can see the access card PIN code, license key, and state. Now let's replenish the account. Go to the Balance panel, click Options, Payment. If there is a document verifying the payment, enter its number here. Then enter the payment amount, add a comment if you like, and click Save. OK. Now let's attach a service plan. Select a service plan, set the start date if you want a delayed attachment. But we want to attach this plan now, so just click Save. OK, we successfully created a customer, and this customer is now able to watch TV channels and rent movies.